Welcome to Emacs 2. My name is Sherry Shell Lewis. In this video, we are going to talk about exposure. Basically, in this video, we are going to show you how to set up the exposure on your Panasonic G85. The G85, we all know it, is the hottest camera out there for entry level at this time. A lot of people are purchasing that camera. We're going to show them how to set up the exposure so they can capture great pictures. But first, what is an exposure? An exposure basically determines how light or dark an image will appear when it's been captured by a camera. And you probably won't believe it, but it is true that an exposure is determined by three settings on your camera. It is the ISO, the aperture, and your shutter speed. These three settings are going to be the center of this video. We are going to waste any time. Let's get right into it. In the intro, we talk about three settings that determine the exposure. We say they were the ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. And this is how you change your ISO by going on the right dial and push the ISO button. And you can use your fingers on the touch screen to move it left and right and set it. As you can see, the number on the yellow box will be what you set your ISO to. ISO usually represents sensitivity to light. The, I, the higher the number, the more light the camera will let in. And the higher the ISO, the more noise you will introduce to your image. Let's go ahead and, and try to uh, show you how the ISO uh, help you capture great image to get a great exposure we're gonna go ahead and set our ISO uh, to about 12,800 and take a picture to see how that picture gonna look and this is exactly what we do as you can see we take a picture and here's our picture on the back of the camera we're gonna go ahead and bring it out you can see this is a picture that has a lot of light and it's kind of overexposed and why don't we go ahead and try to set our iso to a lower number uh, let's try about 200 and see if we got enough light there we go we set it to 200 and we're going to take a picture and here's our picture on the back of the camera we're going to go ahead and bring that picture for you to see um how that picture look there's the picture well exposed this is a good picture the iso we didn't have it high so it was very low and here's the or other one this is another image to me that image is overexposed you have to remember to get a great exposure you have to set up your aperture your iso and your shutter speed i'm showing you the top of the camera that the g85 so you can see front and back dial because those are those two dial are the one that control both your f-stop which is your aperture and your shutter speed so the one on the bottom is your shutter speed the front dial basically is what control that and we want to say that the aperture deal exactly with the lens of the camera the larger the number the smaller is the opening of the lens and the smaller the number the larger is the opening of the lens uh, and we're looking at me changing that lens that i'm using on the g85 basically it's the kids lens it can only go up to uh 22 and uh, the lowest it can go is 3.5 this is a very slow lens it's not fast at all and uh, i'm showing you that you see the lower the number f1.4 a bigger opening than f8 the larger the number the smaller is the opening and basically that's what give you what they call the shallow depth of field the more you can open that lens the more you can focus on the one in front of you and have that blur background right now we're taking that lens down to uh, 3.5 that's the uh, uh, maximum that he can go is 3.5 if the lens was a faster lens maybe we could take it to 1.5 or 1.8 but this one can only go to 3.5 and 22 that's the highest it can goes and that's what gives you the uh, depth of field you can see those pictures where you see the black background is blurry so this is how you realize that by managing your uh, aperture on the camera that's what gives you those kind of crispy image uh, what people usually call when you're shooting video they call cinematic view you can see if you're watching those movies most of the image kind of look 
uh, blurry background as you can see the uh, main uh, character in front of you clear and they give you a blurry background and the uh, aperture is basically deal with the lens nothing to do with the camera the higher the number the smaller is your opening and the smaller is your opening the higher is the number now the shutter speed the shutter speed represents the amount of time that the shutter women open while taking a pictures the shutter speed also control movement and stop action basically if you taking pictures of your kid playing on the park and you take a picture at long uh, uh shutter speed like about one second you're gonna see a lot of blurriness you won't see nothing you won't be able to see uh your uh, son on that pictures we're gonna go ahead and take a pictures about uh let's let's bring back the uh, shutter speed and the uh, aperture so we can go ahead and take a, a picture we're gonna set the camera to about a second or so one second and take a picture to see um how that picture gonna take out uh as you can see we set it to one second and we're gonna go ahead and take a picture move my hand in front of it you're gonna barely able to see my hand as you can see already uh, let's bring the picture back to see there it is and you can barely see my hand in that picture whatever you see white that my hands moving in front the uh basically the the shutter speed uh, is not uh basically the shutter speed is not fast enough uh to stop the motion in that picture that's why my hand is all uh, blurry why not trying that again and see if we uh, set the uh, the shutter speed right now to 120 feet uh to 125 uh uh see what's gonna happen see if it can stop it because that's why you need to set your shutter speed at the right speed for that um shutter not to stay open too long so you can stop the action let's go ahead and take a picture at 125 uh there you go there as you can see my head we stop the action and you can see a clear hand this is exactly why it is important to know how to set this three setting all together so you can take quality pictures the iso the shutter speed and your aperture those three settings you need to know how to set them up uh so you can take quality pictures it is something like when you uh get this camera that you take time to learn how to uh, put these three settings together because all three of them have to be in sync for you to take great pictures you can compensate for each other on all these three settings that's what makes this camera great if you love the video give it a thumbs up and we would love for you to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss on our latest video we have more video coming on this camera we're going to talk about the live 4k cropping on our next video thank you for watching and i hope to catch you on the next video thank you for visiting imaxtube it is always a pleasure to create new content for you as a result we would love for you to support our channel by liking our video subscribe to our channel and comment down below any suggestion or question you may have as always it is a pleasure to have you here at Emacsu, for now, we will catch you on the next one.